Well, we're extremely excited today to actually see the conclusion of uh, Energy Oasis. I think uh, what makes me proud is, is the fact that, that, that this is an interdisciplinary project that requires the participation of a wide variety of different individuals that have worked together in the last nine years to help us realize the dreams that, that we have in terms of creating an environment in which you could achieve energy efficiency and sustainable energy production for BCIT and, and for Canada. OASIS truly is an interdisciplinary team and uh, it's involved groups all over the years and across the institute and it's actually a living lab that elevates the learning of our students and a research sandbox that I believe is one of the envies of Canada in this field. We contributed over 4.4 million dollars through the Clean Energy Fund for the Energy Oasis Smart Grid project. This project expands the current smart microgrid by storing solar generated power with lithium ion batteries, then using it for electric vehicle fast charging stations across the distribution network. Energy Oasis also demonstrates the advantages of storing energy from renewable energy sources for later use. The province, uh, through our Crown Corporation, BC Hydro, contributed $2 million to the Energy Oasis uh, project. And I do want to also acknowledge the private partners, Panasonic, Siemens, uh, Schneider, and car to go It's a very interesting project technically. We've taken a number of uh, emerging technologies, batteries, solar panels, charging stations, uh, energy management systems, and combined those into this pretty impressive clean energy facility here. And this facility can produce about 142 megawatt hours of energy per year. That's the equivalent of about powering 30 households in British Columbia. This is an example not only of the impact this will have on this institution, but it also shows the way for the future energy mix, not only in Canada, but internationally. You are leaders, we're proud of you, and we thank you. Thank you.